Hey, this is Mark for the Microblog, and today I'm going to show you what I think is the best and perfect office setup for the Surface Pro family. So it doesn't matter if you have a Surface Pro 3, a Surface Pro 4, or even a Surface Book, because I think uh, what I have here is basically the setup which gets you the most uh, productivity out of this device. So you could connect your Surface uh, and uh, leave it to attach your normal uh, Surface type cover, uh, which also would work. But I really think for working in an office environment, um, you need more than that little keyboard. So for that reason, I... Well, come on. <laughs> okay, that was the magnetic connector, which is actually really strong. Um, for that reason, I have a uh, keyboard, an external keyboard here, and I'm using the uh, Razer uh, Chroma Black Widow. Um, not because I'm a gamer, but I really love typing on this thing and also I love that you have different uh, profiles where you like uh, have this um, action going on on the keyboard. I hope you can see that right now when I'm pressing some buttons here, uh, the keyboard goes wild. So what else do we have here? Maybe you like you can see it like this when I'm like pressing the buttons, uh, everything is lightening up. Uh, so I have a lot of fun working with this. Uh, my colleagues don't have that much fun because it's a very loud keyboard because it's a mechanical keyboard, but um, so you don't necessarily need a uh, mechanical keyboard for working in the office. Uh, but then again, this one is fun uh, because it's all the lights. I like the lights. Um, number two, you need an external mouse. And uh, for me at least, I think this kind of trackball mouse is the perfect mouse for working in the office. Because um, as you might, can see right now, let me put it here, um, when you're working, uh, all you have to do is uh, you like just rest your hand here and you have all the surfing, all the uh, browsing uh, just with the uh, hand, just with your thumb. You control the mouse uh, only with your thumb. And uh, what I learned, because uh, now in our office all the people are using this kind of mouse, um, in the first beginning it's really hard to learn to get around with this. But first, when, after you learned it, uh, you never want to use another mouse again in the office because um, this is really like you just sit down, put your mouse here, and you're not like this. Uh, you know what I mean, right? So um, this external mouse, external uh, keyboard are the like, two most um, important things for working, I think. Um, also very important, the external monitor. We're going to talk about that just in a moment. Uh, as you can see, my mouse is wireless, my keyboard isn't. I think the whole setup could be a little bit better uh, when you like, when you, if you were using a uh, wireless keyboard. But then again, uh, you had to have to miss all the fun lights and um, yeah, I think lights are more important uh, than having it wireless. And then again, you're also sitting at your office desk, so it's not that important that it's wireless here. You're not going to, or I, at least me, I'm not going to take the keyboard away and put it somewhere else. I'm, when I'm working, I'm sitting right here. Of course, uh, size does matter, um, at least for the external monitor. Um, I'm sitting relatively close to the whole computer, so that's why I'm not choosing a super big screen. Um, but I think this, is, this really works for me, you know? You have two screens, you have the one big screen right in front of you, and you have a second screen where you like, can put some other stuff on the side. Uh, and uh, one thing, again, I'm not sure if you're familiar with it or if you aren't, so that's why I'm going to show you. Um, you have some short keys or shortcuts you can use, uh, like the Windows and right arrow, it's going to put that to the right side and you can snap something on, on the other side. You can even snap it more, like uh, put it to the right, wah, and then put it with the up arrow just on the upper top there. Uh, this is really a good thing. And you may have noticed, this is not the camera from the Surface, this is the uh, Microsoft Studio Cam, which I have on the top here, which I'm using for Skype and also for audio recordings, because uh, this one has a really, really great um, external microphone, or it has a built-in microphone in the webcam, which is really, really superior to all the stuff which is happening here. So that's the reason why I also have a uh, webcam here. Also, a very important part for me at my office is my scanner. And as you can see, I don't use the scanner of the printer uh, because, uh, let's be honest, uh, those scanners are most of the times they're just rubbish. And this here is a Fujitsu iX500, which is in my eyes uh, one of the best uh, document scanners you can buy for money. And I'm just going to demonstrate this to you. Um, why, I have it, like you saw it on my table, um, I have it really close by. And uh, as you can see, I'll just put stuff there 
uh, hit the quick button and the thing is going, it's going to scan it. And as you can see, it's really fast with scanning. And also it's really convenient because after you scan the document, there is this uh, little launcher which is telling you, um, oh, it's on the other screen, let me put it here. Uh, what you're going to do, scan to folders, scan to email, scan to print, scan to mobile, all this stuff. There are even other apps which are supported. Um, I'm usually going to scan it to a folder or to an email. Um, and one of small detail which you can see here, uh, the cool thing about this is it automatically rotates your document to the right um, yeah, direction. So it's uh, perfectly aligned and you can give it a new name. And another tip from me, I'm always saving my documents, like my scans on OneDrive. I have a separate uh, folder there, which I named Quick Scan. So all my scans just go there. Um, another thing which you could do is you could say, um, scan to print and then one second here uh, as a printer choose uh, OneNote and if you aren't if you aren't familiar with OneNote then you should watch some of my other videos because OneNote is really a lifesaver in the office environment I, I think I will make a business OneNote video at some time too just hit print then the OneNote starts up and you can see it there it is uh, it asks you where do you want to put it I'll say in this notebook and now you can see here's the print you immediately can start to make uh, some adjustments and there's this thing why I love my uh, setup so much because um, you know the good thing about the Surface Dock there was another Surface Dock for the Surface Pro 3 um, I think it was called Docking Station which was this clamshell design so you just put it in and the clamps go like this and uh, the problem with that was your screen was fixed at one angle and the cool thing with the Surface Dock actually is you can put your documents here and when I'm sitting at the office you like what you can do is you can just like put it down uh, use your pen and make some uh, small adjustments here say this is cool or whatever of course this is really cool like I said this is cool uh, I hope you can read that and that's the reason why I think because everything is really close together at this table uh, this is why I think this is yeah for me at least this is the perfect office uh, setup for a Surface Pro 3, Surface Pro 4. I uh, even could put a Surface Book here. I'm not sure about that. I'm going to test the Surface Book really soon. Um, at this point, I would say uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or any comments or you want to know, oh, this is called a Logitech Trackball, I think. Maybe that's one of the things I should mention. Um, so if you have any other questions, um, please uh, hit it down in the comments and I'm going to answer it. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up or give it a subscribe. Uh, I'm going to make some more videos uh, this year about how I'm working with a surface in the office or even in the university. Thanks for watching. I'm Mark. See you later.